Pacto, Grimace of Pain. Grimace of Pain, yeah. On his face. Maybe he was hurt, Mike. Maybe. Left hook. Everything missed there. And a right hand to the side of the head. I've got to tell you, this is what Ray Sefo said to Card AM. He said, Banahari throws a lot. He goes, wait for him to expend himself and finish the technique and then throw on him, and that's exactly what Card AM did, and it worked. Banahari still irate. Card AM's out of there. Hari arguing with Daisuke Teraguchi, the K1 official. The bottom line is this. If you're on the ground, you want to fight on, get up and fight on, you know? Exactly. Mike, good point. He was given a 10 count. If he can't answer the count, can't he doesn't deserve count. to That's keep the fighting. Rules. That's the rules. Hari's corner still yelling and screaming. He hasn't made his way out of the ring yet, but Hari. And the fact that the K1 Brains Trust is in censoring does not augur well for Butter Harry's future, Mike. I don't think so. The bottom line is this. He's, al he's almost, just looking up at the ring, sorry, Mike, but he's almost backfisted one of the referees. That's just disrespectful. If he's looking at it, having his career, he should just, you know, accept the decision and, and, and obey the rules. That's it. Butter Harry wasn't really properly focused for this fight against Ruslan Kadaev and it showed. From the opening bell, Butter wasn't really on his game plan. He got backed into a corner, Ruslan caught him, Butter went down and the referee waved off the fight. He gets hit, he gets hurt, he gets slumped in the corner as he, as he falls to the ground and he gets, for some reason Ruslan gets carried away, kicks him on the ground, there was a little controversy there, but he was already done. What happened next became a typical scenario of Butter Hurry at that time. He went crazy in the ring. He chucked a tantrum. As we say in Australia, he chucked the wobblies. He went skits in centre ring. Not, not just visibly upset, crazy upset about, about being kicked on the ground. And it's the first time we see this, this behaviour, this pattern out of Badahari, which is, you know, when he, he loses control. They finally got him backstage before he actually said a few choice words to the K1 officials. He went backstage and then he started tearing up the dressing room. There's famous footage of him slamming his hand into an exit sign and breaking it, kicking out a light, kicking out posters and stands. He absolutely lost the plot backstage. And genuinely for a lot of us back then, because he went off so much, we thought that was going to be the last we ever saw of Badahari and K1. You just don't disrespect the K1 hierarchy like Bada did that night. After being counted out by the referee, Hari in his corner immediately protested the outcome, complaining that the kick to Hari's body was illegal since he was lying on the canvas when it occurred. Though the referee did not respond that evening, K1 officials eventually did, giving him a rematch only six months later. In spite of being knocked out twice um, and throwing a big tenter tantrum, which is in Japan, and Japanese organization is a big no-no. He gets an opportunity to come back, and he, and he, he makes the best of it. The rematch between Butter and Razlan was extraordinary. That, that whole night in Yokohama w was just incredible. In wonderful K-1 fashion, instead of building him up, what do they give? They give him back to uh, Karoff, you know, uh, for the rematch. <laughs> you know, again, because I think he's, you know, you know my, my take on that is I thought that Karoff was going was gonna to win. First round of three, the voice Michael Chavello ringside with four times K1 world champion Ernesto Hoost, Bada Hurry in the black, Razan Kadea with an early hook in the blue trunks. Expect a lot of fast combination work from both these men. And have a look at them go, have it a tongue. Razan Kadea has opened up like a house on fire. Early handiwork from Kadea. He has charged out of the corner, unloading on Badahari as he did in Osaka in their first match. Kadaev, who's been training out of the Ihado gym here in Japan. Word is he's been suffering the fever, the flu for the last two weeks, Kadaev. Maybe that's why he's starting strongly here tonight, because he knows that go later in the three rounds, he might be a little fatigued. Slamming outside by Kiko and Nesta, you could hear that one. That one hurts. High right round kick from Bada Hari. Bada looks, Bada looks very concentrated. And that's the way he should fight. Wow, Kadaev has come out smoking. Hari has worn the shot so far. Yeah, he's making the good low kicks and uh, he's going to wear uh, Ruslan down. 
These two fighters are really a matchmaker's dream, both highly exciting, both capable of knockouts in spectacular fashion. Will Butterhurry go after his patented spinning hook kick? The Leco Buster he used back in the Grand Prix undercard of 2005. High left round kick there from Butterhurry. Left hook from Ruslan Kardayev. Straight left hand from Kardayev catches him. Outside thigh kick from Kardayev. Takes a deep breath. It's been a good opening round from the young Russian. Kardayev on the outside of the ring. Hurry controlling centre ring. Spinning back fist from Kardayev, almost left himself exposed. Hari wants to go to town on the rib kicks and the leg kicks, gets underneath the left hand of Razlan Kardayev. Good leg check there from Kardayev, high kick from Bada Hari. Long reaching jab from Hari. Uppercut from Kardayev, backs him against the ropes as Hari goes for a wild right hand. Have a look at that, beautiful. High round kick, caught on the forearms by Kardayev. He's got more kick than a can-can dancer here in the first round. Has Bada Hari, spinning back kick to the midsection. Outside thigh kick, beautifully done from Hari. Jab two up the centre corridor, caught him on the chin, but Hari wore it well. Oh, jab two again. Straight line combinations working a treat here for Razlan Kardayev. And there's a straight right hand, a high right round kick from Badahari. Doesn't connect. Oh, oh, geez. Very impressive and first round. First that was, round. Uh, I couldn't speak to speak a word because I was very excited by uh, by, the, by the first round. If you're a judge, Ernesto, it's a hard one to call. It's Are a you hard leaning one in anyone's call. favor? I think I would have scored a 10-10. Uh, with a little favor for, uh, for Butter, maybe. But for me, the 10-10 should be best. The work rate of these two men is just phenomenal. Yeah, very high. You slow the footage down and it still looks like it's at regular speed. That's how quick they are. Yeah. <laughs> Almost that Brazilian style kick that yeah. Glaube Feitosi uses, where it looks like it's going to the ribs, then it whips up to the head. Second touch! Yeah, but it has so many possibilities. There are so many good techniques. And uh, I'm glad to see that he is using them now. Okay, we are ready to roll. Second round of three. It is still anyone's for the tanking. Unofficially, we are given a drawn first round, 10 points apiece. <laughs> Who will gain the upper hand here in the second stanza? His work rate, it is aggression. Looping left hook from Carday. If he opens up the game like a house on fire. But Ahari almost spilling over the ropes and onto our ringside photographers. The crowd appreciating it. Oh, Bork right hand from Kardayev. He is really packing some power Kardayev in his looked, punches. Kardayev looked hurt. Outside thigh kick, front kick of the face from Kardayev. High left round kick from Badahari. Left hook from Kardayev, trying to come around the back of that rear right glove of Bada. Wild swinging, looping punches there from Bada Hari. Just skips back. Almost walked into another left hand from Kardayev. There is some blood coming from the nose of Kardayev. Nothing too serious, though. Skips up on the jab, goes to the body, gets out of the way of the right hand in the high left round kick. Oh, smack back on the schnoggin! He's opened up that nose now. Beautiful left hand by Badahari. Kardayev goes for a spinning hook kick. Brilliant technique, but ineffective here in the second round. Now wipe down the nose of Kardayev. It is all excitement here in Centering Ernesto. It is, and I'm enjoying it. I mean, uh, they both uh, show very good techniques, either with the punches and with the, with the kicks. And uh, like Bader, I must see, he's looking extremely well. He's very well concentrated, and he knows what he knows what he's doing. And uh, I would have uh, expected that after he uh, dazed. Uh, uh, Ruslan a little bit 
that um, he would have go for a for a for a knockout or something, but he takes his time, and I think he does that very well. So very calculated performance so far yeah. from the Golden Boy Butter Hurry. And yeah. Ruslan, yeah, Ruslan is just Ruslan. Ruslan. He's just looking for for the knockout, either with the kick or with the punch, and uh, that's why it, it's uh, such an exciting fight up to now. We recommence here in the second round. The nose of Karayev may very well be broken from that left hand of Badahari. Goes for the high kick again, Hari. Nice jab to from Karayev. All tangled up against the ropes. Karayev again swinging wildly with the left hand. Trying to pull the head down and work the high kick was Badahari. The boxing work has really improved here tonight. And Ruslan Karayev with the overhead. Tagging him. Well, Bada Hari. Oh, the big kibosh. The left hand, the high knee. But Bada Hari stands up to it. He's taken more hits than a Cheech and Chong movie as Bada Hari. Again, Kardayev goes head hunting. The uppercut. Here comes Kardayev. The big kibosh. The big kibosh. Bada Hari is down. This place is alive. This is one of the best fights we've seen. Oh, down wow. goes Karayev. Down goes Karayev. It's all over. That's all over. It's good night, Irene. Unbelievable. That was just unbelievable. As Bada Hurry was knocked down. He got up and with one punch, he finished the fight. You could not have scripted that in a Hollywood movie. This one is the greatest. I mean, I'm, I'm in a fun tonight. This is unbelievable. Sure. Ruslan Karayev was knocked back to 1974. Ruslan and Bada got it on again. It was a crackerjack fight from the opening bell. They were hunted after each other, uh, left nothing in their corners. And what happened is that Karayev knocked down Bada Hari. We thought, OK, here we go again. Bada Hari gets up. And he's uh, he's doing the pumpkin dance. He's just staggering around, barely can do it, you know. And uh, Karl comes with a big punch. He, he slips the punch and lands his own, knocks him out. The first punch after the referee recommences is the most pristine, the most beautiful right cross you ever want to see. I mean, but it was like, bam, bam. It was like he gets hit, he gets knocked down, he gets up, he's wobbly. Referee says go, boom, fight's over. Big kibosh. Good night, Irene. Down goes Karayev out. And that launches him kind of into stardom here because now he's knocked out an impressive fighter. Hari got his revenge and established himself as a force in the 2007 Grand Prix. He next defeated Yusuke Fujimoto for the newly established K1 Championship and then outclassed Peter Graham in a rematch. The only thing keeping Hari from a spot in the Grand Prix Finals was an overconfident Doug Viney. Butter Hurry, a four inch height advantage. Doug Viney, a 13 pound weight advantage. Both men have a 50% KO ratio. On paper, this could very well be the matchup of the night. Three by three minute rounds, K1 rules. Viney of New Zealand out of the blue corner. Butter Hurry of Morocco via Holland out of the red corner. Dutch, Dutch. Here we go, first round of action. Yeah, well. 